What are the symptoms of heart disease? It's the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States, killing almost 700,000 people each year. Changing your diet is the most effective action to prevent heart disease, regardless of your family history. Stay tuned and I'll explain the symptoms of heart disease and the two best diets that will reduce your risk. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. The symptoms of heart disease usually are diagnosed by your physician, but can also be suspected based on how you look and feel. Your physician can determine for you if you have high or imbalanced cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, or are diabetic or pre-diabetic. All are linked in people on their way to heart disease. You may suspect the development of heart disease if, in your daily life, you use tobacco, are physically inactive, are obese, or carry too much weight, have a family member with it, or if you have a poor diet. Stopping smoking, beginning an exercise plan, and losing weight are great places to start, and changing your diet is extremely powerful in reducing your risk of heart disease. But what's the right diet? The best diet to prevent coronary heart disease, heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral artery disease is a question long debated, and boy, is there a lot of confusing information in the media. One day something's good for you, and another day it's not. Everyone wants to know the one exact diet that will prevent them from getting heart disease and keep them healthy. Low fat, high fat, low carb, high carb, vegetarian, Asian, Mediterranean, whoa, no wonder everyone is so confused. Now what if I told you there are actually two diets that are proven to prevent heart disease and related conditions? The first is a very low fat vegetarian diet. Dr. Dean Ornish's studies have proven that a low fat diet along the lines of 10 to 15 percent total fat intake as compared to the American Heart Association's recommendation of 30 percent will actually reverse heart disease in people already diagnosed with the condition. It will also prevent heart disease. Studies of cultures from around the world who eat as vegetarians from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Malaysia and religions such as Hindu, Buddhism and Seventh-day Adventists show that the development of heart disease is almost non-existent unless, of course, they move to the U.S., parts of Europe, or eat the average American diet. The problem here is that most people don't really want to eat a vegetarian diet. Luckily, there is another diet that is also as effective in the prevention of heart disease. It is the low-carb diet. Yes, we're talking about Atkins, the Zone Diet, South Beach Diet, or Suzanne Summers Diet. Any of the low-carb diets will work extremely well. But you say there seems to be so much contrary evidence in the media about these diets. That's true, but from what sources do they come? Usually, they have a vested interest in an opposing point of view. But the weight of the evidence proves them wrong every time. First, I defy anyone to find a study done anywhere that has proven that a, high, a diet high in fat and low in carbs causes heart disease. This study's never been done. It doesn't exist. Studies in the past that linked high fat to heart disease never took into account the level of carbohydrates each participant was eating. Researchers ignored carb intake. Said another way, high fat content diets in the presence of high carbohydrate intake can lead to heart disease. But when carb intake was taken into account, high fat diets in the presence of low carbohydrate intake does not and has never, not one time, been proven to lead to heart disease. Looking around the world, Eskimos and African tribes are the most extreme examples of cultures eating low carb. They simply don't have access to much more, much more than animals for food. Heart disease is non-existent in these cultures. Making more sense for the average American are the Asian and Mediterranean diets. Both of those cultures eat about the same amount of protein that the average American does, but they eat more fats and less carbs than Americans do. Their risk of heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol is far less than found in America. Recently, this has begun to change as the unhealthy American diet begins to creep around the world. Nonetheless, for those of you who appreciate the flavor of fat in food, enjoy it. Eat good fats, no trans fats, and reduce the saturated fat, but also cut back on your carbs. If you are someone who has repeated the mantra of everything in moderation, here's the bad news. You're almost at as much risk as the person who eats anything and everything, also known as the standard American diet, or SAD, S-A-D, which is a little bit ironic, isn't it? If you claim moderation, it simply means you really haven't made a choice. You eat based on what you feel is moderation. That's a bad plan, actually. It's no plan at all. Notice the two diets I describe here are not moderate and not in the middle. 
They are extremes. Pick one and your health will benefit. If you insist it's all based on your genes, well, we all have bad genes, but they don't always express themselves. As an example, not all women who have the breast cancer gene get breast cancer. We have to do something to turn those genes on. With heart disease, it's your diet that will turn them on and get them to express themselves. Eat right and they never, they'll never cause you any problem. Learn more about heart disease, how to accomplish an easy low carb diet, all natural supplements to help support healthy heart function, and the dangers of common heart medications by viewing some of my other videos at www.asktheholisticdoctor.com. Don't be a victim of heart disease, especially when its prevention or reversal is entirely under your control simply through diet. This is Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. For more holistic approaches to other chronic health conditions, please visit AskTheHolisticDoctor.com.